What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It is I, Keith, your man of letters. First and foremost, if you're new, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because we will be doing a follow-up live of this video on the following day of its release. So if you want to join in on the discussion, ask some questions, drop your two cents, um, we'd love to have you around. To me, spirituality seems like something that's big now because religion seems to not have failed us. It did its job, right? People don't know how to act a lot of times. And if you don't tell them that they're going to burn in hell for all eternity, then they won't change their ways. I don't know. To me, spirituality seems to be a lot more fun, too, because there's almost a blending of worlds in spirituality now. We, we've gotten to the point where science has gotten so advanced, has uncovered such weird details of the world that there's almost no such thing as magic anymore in the sense that it's not explained so you know the old saying says everything is magic until science figures out how it works and some people say oh what science takes the fun out of things takes the magic out of things but i don't think that's true i think science is amazing because it reverse engineers what we would call magic so that we can replicate it it just because something becomes a science doesn't mean it becomes mechanistic or it does in a sense but there's nothing wrong with being mechanistic um we want to be able to replicate things and today we can with science we can replicate things we can say controlling the weather is magic right only sorcerers and and witches can control the weather it's magic well now they spray silver nitrate in the air and they can form clouds which bring rainwater so we can literally change the weather now used to be magic now it's science it's not that it's become any less magical we've just found out how to do it and how to replicate it so why spirituality seems to be so amazing today is because all the things for the past two three four thousand years that used to be magic are now science so they're revisiting these crazy ass ideas and these crazy assumptions and crystals storing energy and shit seem you know like voodoo but now what are they using crystals for they use crystals to store data inside of computers so if you can store data in the form of electricity inside of a crystal a quartz crystal then essentially everyone who says you can store your energy in a crystal was not batshit crazy there was some truth to it so now today scientists are going well fuck Let's go ahead and look at everything that these crazy crackheads used to talk about, put it under a microscope, and see if they were actually getting onto something because everything um, can be verified with technology. So one of the reasons why I'm so fascinated with spirituality is because I can look at all these things. I can look at um, Reiki. I can look at the human aura in terms of the human electromagnetic field. I can look at the power of storing energy in crystals through how quartz uh, crystals are used to store information in computer chips. People have used plants throughout history to heal certain ailments and prior to that it was all hodgepodge but now we can take a plant and isolate the compounds and say okay this compound is curing disease right it's no longer witchcraft it's now science and that's why i think that spirituality is becoming so mainstream now is because it can be backed up by mainstream science can say all right i'll give it a shot send it over to me i'll put it under a microscope and we'll see what's going on um, humans have auras and they have energy fields around them it sounds like a bunch of crap but all right we'll hook a human up to a machine and boom Okay, the heart, the human heart actually does generate an electromagnetic field. That electromagnetic field carries emotions. It carries energy from emotions, um, from thoughts. And so we can say, okay, well, that wasn't a bunch of crap either. We can verify that. So now I believe we're living in a time where science can verify spiritual claims. And I know that you guys want to hate on science. And I know that it seems too right-brained or you know everyone wants to hate on that aspect when it comes to spirituality but just like the human mind just like the yin and yang symbol i think that we should be blending all things together if we have people that are only going to be convinced by science then convince them by science if we have people who are only going to be convinced by gurus and by people who are channeling aliens 
and let them be convinced by channeling aliens. As long as we can verify the information from more than one source, which we can now, then we're gonna have really useful information. We're gonna be able to talk about magical things. We're gonna be able to replicate magical things and we're gonna be able to verify magical things consistently, which is amazing, which has never been able to, uh, never been able to be done before. So that's why I think spirituality is so big now. And why I'm so fascinated with it and why I can't stop looking things up why I can't stop researching lucid dreaming and astral projecting and candle rituals and fucking Anubis ancient Egyptian gods and their stories and what they taught all these things have I believe pieces of truth if we look at it right which is why I've named my channel man of letters because a man of letters Traditionally speaking is someone who is into a cult and a cult means hidden, right? So anything all things that are hidden all things that are secret all things that are in the dark and Man of letters kind of goes in there and filters through the bullshit. Okay, what's relevant? What's not what's fucking snake oil? What's got some truth in it? Is this person a charlatan or do they really have the answers to the universe and are they really fucking charging up crystals so that I can blast off into other realms? I hope so. I want to believe that. But um, if no one else is going to bring matches into the darkness, I will. That's all for that video, folks. My name's Keith, your man of letters. If you're interested, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so that you can follow up on the live video. Same topic, but with you guys asking questions. Um, Again, I have candles for sale, little ritual candles. These are specifically for lucid dreaming and nighttime because they have cedar and lavender oil. So they're a little more chill, not money candles or nothing other love ritual candles. Um, they are 100% beeswax. I've got these mammoth 19 ounces that burn for 55 plus hours. I have pyramid shaped candles. You can't see the pyramid because it's burned through. Um, I have little spheres. All beeswax, 100% organic essential oil as well, and 100% beeswax. Um, I'm not, I haven't made tapers yet. These cool taper candles, I have to buy these still, but I'll make these eventually. Maybe if someone you guys commissions me to make them, I'll do it. Custom order for you guys. But um, yeah, thanks for being here, you guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the, see you in the next video.